Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make an AFK system. So we'll make if a player is AFK, if he's outside of this Roblox window, then we'll turn his appearance into a force field. And before we get into the video, make sure to join the Discord down below. That's where you can get free stuff such as this model. And yeah, it's easier than scripting it yourself. And like the video. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is make a remote event. And you can name it AFK or actually whatever you want, but I don't know, AFK makes sense. So yeah, this remote event will help us uh, tell the server which player is AFK. So then after that, we can add a local script into starter character scripts. And here we need to get a local event. I'll just uh, make an event as variable, but that will be this um, remote event that's called AFK. Then game get service replicated storage find first child afk now we can go down to lines um, and say again again get service or actually we can make it easier for ourselves local user or uh, uis for short equals game get service user input service and then we can write this um, window focus released so what this does so window focus released is basically it tells us if the player is inside of the Roblox window or not and then we can connect that to the function and here we can write event player server so we can fire to the server because we will make a script inside of the server script service later and right here through and then again user input servers dot window focused connect function and we can just copy this but this time we'll make it false so we know when the when the user is inside of this window so it resets the, the character back to normal. And you can also rename this script. Um, I don't know, whatever you want. I'll make AFK remote, so it's, it's easier. And then make a new script. We can call this AFK handler. And then inside of here, uh, first we need to make a um, a table of some sort, status, equals, um, no, not those. Yes, put these special brackets, so for now it's empty. Then local event equals game find for child, or actually no, my bad, um, get service, replicate storage, find now find for child, fk, and then we can write if not event then event equals instance that's new um, so what this assures us is that if the event doesn't exist it will just simply create one so if there's a bug inside the game or something and that's parent equals game get service replicate storage and then event the name oh my god um, equals afk so this is just the assure reassurance that um, the event exists um, i like to do this in a few scripts if it's something like this that changes between local and server scripts with remote events and then we can do update afk um, put equal function and then we put player comma enable so now we need to identify what the player is local player equals game dot players dot low 
called flavor. I really can type today. Um, if enable, then um, what should the video? Okay, um, or I, or you can actually put this. Um, yeah, I like that better. So for I, this is basically uh, this. You, you can basically put anything here and also here. Um, this part is just the um, <coughs> like uh, how this how they explain it. Um, okay, let's actually write the in pairs here. Okay, so what this does for i loops are basically they get um, everything uh, of some sort inside of this. So now we can do if v. So if this part, you can actually name it part or whatever, but I'll put v for now because it's easier, it's shorter, is a name part. So if it's a part inside of character, of player character, um, like I don't know, like arms or legs or something like that, um, then we need material because force field. Okay, so we basically make um, every part a force field material if the player is AFK. Now um, move down two lines and then we can write four comma v in pairs so basically the same thing you can literally just copy this and then do then if v is a um, that should be a um, oh my god um, accessory then so if this is um, because not all characters have the only parts um, well actually most of the Roblox characters from the players have also accessories such as hats or I don't know some stuff like that is accessory local part equals me and first child I mean handle because uh, every accessory has a main part uh, which is called handle it's basically the way you can weld um, weld the accessories onto the players or actually the players character and then part with material equals force field and that's it for this part now we can move on again to lines um, now we can write else. So if the player is not AFK, um, or comma v in players, uh, we can again put this because it's the same thing. So it's essentially the same exact exact uh, part of the script actually. So we can actually just copy it. Um, then you can put something, I don't know, like smooth plastic, maybe. I don't know if, if that's, uh, that's how you write this. Okay, let me put something simple, um, because I don't know if it has space between it or not. So I will just make it like this. Okay, and then again, two lines. And we can also copy this part. And make it also sand, and that's it for the uh, for this whole function. Now we of course need something to trigger it, so we'll say event not on server event. So when the uh, when we trigger it uh, inside of this script, uh, inside of the local script, we trigger the server side. So on server event connect function and then we can get the player and enable and then fk status so we can also put these uh, brackets 
player equals enable update fk so now here we trigger the the function and inside of these brackets you can put player comma enable so i think that's it i think this should work at least i hope so so if i go i don't know i don't know if this uh, studio thing counts if we are not uh, inside of this window it might not count because it's technically still inside of the roblox window so i don't know if i click on the side of here let's see okay let's see if there's any errors oh okay um Oh, okay, um, I see what's wrong, actually. Uh, we don't actually need this, do we? Yeah, I think we can do it without that. Now it should work. Okay, yeah, so now we don't have any errors. Oh, so yeah, you can see. So if I click um, somewhere on the side, like when you're in studio, you can click up here. And then, as you can see, uh, my character becomes a force field. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.